Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make Santa Hat Cheesecake Bites. You're going to need one package of the cheesecake jello mix. I got two because I'm going to make double the amount. Um, you need, you need a package of the Nestle semi-sweet morsels to make the cups out of. You can already buy the pre-packaged chocolate cups, but I'm going to make them by hand. I'll show you. You're going to need at least 12 strawberries. I'm going to need 24 because I'm doubling the amount. You're going to need 1 fourth cup powdered sugar. Double the amount if you're going to be making for more than 12 people. One bottle of the Wilton Sprinkles it has to be white sparkling sugar. You're going to need an entire package of cream cheese, which is 8 ounces. And last but not least, you're going to need 2 third cup of heavy whipping cream. Doesn't matter what kind, I just got the Target brand. So. If you don't already have the chocolate cups pre-made, listen up. If you already know how to make the chocolate cups, then you can just skip ahead this step. Okay, so take at least two cups of these chocolate morsels into a microwave-safe bowl. And then it says to microwave on high uncovered for 15 second intervals until fully melted. Okay, so begin by taking your two cups of chocolate morsels into a microwave-safe bowl. Then for do it for 15 seconds. Intervals. Every 15 seconds, you should take it out of the microwave and begin stirring because all the chocolate will be melted on the bottom. So you want to make sure all the melted chocolate goes on the top. So every time it microwaves, the chocolate doesn't keep burning in the same spots. Definitely needed more, another 15 second interval. This is what it looks like after the first. So let me do another 15 seconds. Okay, so finally it is completely smooth melted chocolate. Okay, so now that the chocolate's completely melted, you can start spooning in the meltedness into the little uh, cupcake dishes. Okay, so then take your paintbrush, your baking paintbrush, which you will also need, and then begin painting up the sides of the dish. Don't worry if it's not perfectly even because you're going to be having to do this process twice. This is just the first coat. Okay, so after the you begin painting the cups, it should turn out like this. So this is what it looks like after you paint it and put the chocolate in with one coat. And then just repeat this process for has however many cups you would like to make. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's been painted on into the cupcake dishes. Okay, so now that they're all painted, now you're gonna put them in the fridge or freezer, freezer if it, you want it to be a faster process, and let them set for at least like 15, 15 okay, minutes. So now that they have set the first coat, they're completely frozen and hardened. So now you're gonna repeat the chocolate step and begin painting them again. Make sure all the little spacing you see, like the white, make sure the bottom is completely covered and make sure this coat is completely uh, saturated everything because this is the final coat. And then again, freeze it again for at least like 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so now that the, the chocolate cups are in the freezer, now we're going to prepare the cheesecake jello. It's actually pudding, but Okay, so on the back it says add two cups of cold milk to the packaging of the pudding. So then we're just going to follow these directions and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the pudding is added, we're going to add in the two-third cups of whipping cream. Okay, and now you're going to add the one-fourth cup of powdered sugar. Okay, so now you're going to blend all the ingredients together. The cream cheese may be clumpy, so you're going to have to try to get all the clumps out. Okay, so now that it's all blended together, now we're going to start filling these with, into the chocolate cups. Okay, so I peeled off some of the dishes. Okay, so now you're going to start filling your cups. Just 
just fill them up to the top or how, however much you want and then we'll come back for the next step. Okay, so now that the chocolate cups are now filled with the cheesecake pudding mixture, now we're gonna cut the strawberries and add for the top of the Santa hat. So now that you cut your strawberries, just cut off the ends so the strawberry is completely flattened and your cheesecake bite Santa hat should look like this. And then just take a little I used a straw and just add a little dab at the top so it looks like this and this is your completed Santa hat. Oh, and don't forget the sugar, the sparkling white sugar. Add it for add a topping and voila, Merry Christmas. Santa hats, so cute. <laughs>